Hi, I'm Mike Proposi from Newman Central Catholic High School in Sterling, Illinois. I'm here to talk a little about our offensive plays. Not very uh, different looking stuff, it's just basic power stuff that uh, we love to, to, to use here. I talked about the power play before, and I'm going to talk about what we call a fullback lead, which you wing T people is probably your fullback belly play. Okay? Uh, it's an off tackle play, which for us, sometimes that's the hardest thing for us to get to our fullbacks to understand is that it is off tackle and because uh, they like to cut this baby up as much as they can. But we like to set this up with the, uh, our option, which we, we run uh, some just to kind of make it look different. But this is a, this is a play that's very, very similar to our power, uh, except for the fact that our fullbacks get in the ball. It's, it's really a fullback belly play. Uh, if you're a wing tee team, again, you know what we're talking about. We, we can block this a lot of different ways, which I'll get into at, after we're done here. But uh, the basic play, if we were just to, to draw it up with our base offense, our, our linemen are just blocking the rule, which is gap over away. Okay? We're going to run off tackle. So there, there's our aiming point. Our lead back, in this case, if we're going right, is our right halfback. He is our lead blocker. Okay, you know, we really use our backs to block a lot and we practice blocking a lot. He's going to aim for that. We're going to try and get the seal here off the tackle. He's going to block the first guy he sees, which we hope this guard gets this block. And so it's going to be that block on that outside corner or outside back or whatever you want to call it. And he's going to try and just seal him. Our fullback takes what we call just a jump step towards the hole to the right just to give him a better angle. Quarterback reverses out. He runs straight at that outside cheek of that tackle. Very, very important. Uh, he takes that correct angle. If he's taking this belly in angle, it's not going to be a very good play. It's going to be too late in getting there. We got some problems. Our backside back <clears throat> is faking his option route. Uh, we do have a play sometimes we put in where we run uh, belly option, fullback lead option, where we make this fake and pitch to here. But basically, this is a good way to give our fullback the ball. Uh, we like the look of it. Uh, a lot of times, you know, people have a hard time stopping this because uh, we usually put our, one of our best running backs at fullback uh, with our type of option attack and and the other plays, he's going to be one tough hombre, so we do like to get him the ball as much as we can. Okay, So that's a very simple play. What I think I'll talk about while we're on this play is our blocking. Okay, We number our linemen, which is kind of rare. Okay, Our right side, our even numbers, our left side, of course, are off. And we number them because it's easier f for them to figure out what we're doing. And by doing that, I'm going to tell you, you know, like if we call, uh, we used to call it just outside X, which would mean our tackle and tight end would X block. Well, you know, that, that got a little confusing. Now we call it 64. 64, okay? So the 6 means our tight end is going first. You can run at 46 as well, okay? which would make it like a full block. But with the 64, that tells our tackle and tight end, basically they're going to change men they're blocking. Six is going to come down on that tackle. Four is going to take an outside release onto that tight end, and we've got a nice little X block. On the left side, let's say we uh, want to run a guard pull, whatever you guys may call that. We would call it a 15 block. 15 block, which would mean here's our one, he's going to five. One to five. It's like here, six to four, four to six. Well, now one's going to five. So they'll, that tells these guys they're blocking down. This guy's covered, so he's going to stay there. Our five is going to double and straight to that backer here. One, to five. So that's a 15 block for us. It's very simple. Uh, we started doing that probably about 10 years ago. Really helped our linemen. 
We do all our special blocking that way, if you want to call it. We're going to run a sweep. Okay, say a sweep to the right. Okay, we wanted to pull both guards. Okay, what do we call? 126. Okay, one, two, are pulling. One to two. We're going to pull one. He's going to fill for two. Block the first guy. who's probably going to be that backside backer. Okay. Two is going to pull. We're going to hook here because that's his rule on our sweep play. Okay. He's going to stay there. Four is going to block the first guy. And here's our entourage for our sweep in front of him. Just another different way to block it. Most of our plays we run, we can, we can run them three or four different blocking rules. But uh, numbering our linemen has really helped. So when we're running that fullback belly play, you know, you can see we run the 64 or the 53. Did you run 46? 46 for us would mean four would go first, six would come after. In some defenses, depending on how they line up, that's the way to do it. Okay? So that's what we try to do. It's always an off tackle play when we run fullback lead. Uh, the blocking is just shows a little different ways we can do it. Okay?